I have reason to believe we are going to be seeing a major patch in the near future for the Isle. This is going to circle around the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom launch on the movie. Now, hear me out on this because I don't have concrete evidence, but I have been right in the past and I'm linking the dots together again. And I honestly do think we are in for a very large patch. Now, why do I believe there is a massive content patch on the way for the Isle? Well, there is a number of red flags in my mind that are telling that story. Number one being the release of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and the fact that the lead developer of this game has been going to almost every convention possible to find out more about the game that's releasing, Jurassic World Evolution, and movie premieres for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Now you need to put two and two together. Along with my theory video I made a couple, I think last week actually, on Arc 2, the sequel possibly re being revealed. Because if history repeats itself, Arc is going to have a major reveal around the time of release of Fallen Kingdom. And I also believe anything else dinosaur related is going to start revealing really cool content. The Isle is no exception to that because there is incredible benefit to this. There is absolutely incredible benefit. Now, my reasoning behind this is one, history, and my own personal experience with games. Two, I usually get it right with the Isle when I suspect something is on the way, especially if it's something we don't expect. Before I even knew the neurospina was being worked on, I had suspicions of that thing being in the works. On top of that, I've also called it on cannibals and some creatures that we now have in the game as well. I want you guys to take a moment and think about the trend you've seen with the Isle recently. We have been receiving massive content updates. We now have a drowning system. We've seen systems with the cannibal. We have seen the Neurospino appear out of seemingly nowhere after months of radio silence. Suddenly, their development team has ramped up and hired new people. We have dinosaurs that were in the works that we have not heard of in a very long time. We have content that was in the works that we have not heard anything about. Dondi himself has personally confirmed at some point in time on a stream he wants to continue creating a park-based game, a theme park-based game. If history has taught me anything, it's that we're gonna see something massive happen with the Isle. And they probably already have things ready to go. Now, this is just theory. I'm not, I don't have any inside information on this. I don't know for sure. I'm going off of what I understand with the developers and my experience, which is pretty extensive within the Isle and their content system and how things seem to update. Seeing the trend, which I follow trends for a living as a YouTuber, I see a trend right now. It's a very telling trend. This trend is consistent with the major update on the... <laughs> You've either got the biggest foot fetish in the world or you had a stroke. It looks like it had a stroke. By the way, if you didn't notice, that's the new update we got recently with the bodies having actual weight. They don't slowly glide down. This thing actually has weight to it. It actually has mass. But I want to go back on topic. The trends that I've seen, the information that I've seen, and everything that I know about the Isle currently is pointing towards something happening. Whether they're new dinosaurs, I don't know. You guys link the dots down below. Let me know in the comments section if you think there's going to be new dinosaurs, if there's going to be a new system, maybe the release of something we have yet to see because we didn't know the drowning system was coming in and they kind of just plopped in and on us out of nowhere. We didn't know they had a system working for it. We didn't know the neurospinal was basically done until like two months after the, the teasers of it. We may see cannibals, we may see our first tissoplastic creature, but I do think it's going to be more in line with something Jurassic World related and more authentic in the dinosaur genre. That's just my opinion on it. And I know this is a lot of talking and a lot of information being exchanged, but it's just how it is. This is what we have right now. 
this is the conclusion we have to make, I guess, that there's going to be content. There has to be. They've ramped up development. They just released a mega patch, and I know people are saying there's no way they have other content prepared and ready to go. You need to realize they've expanded their dev team. They have new people working on stuff. The last thing I want to touch base on is a creation from GB. The link will be in the description of this video if you want to check it out yourself. This is the Ampliscated T-Rex. Not exactly sure if I said that right. Anyways, there is some information with this. This is just like one of the previous fan-made concepts we had seen in the past. And I thought you guys would enjoy seeing this because there is a containment breach. Classified document. Specialized personnel only. Containment Breach Briefing. Mission Brief. Find and contain Subject 3CH0 in any way possible. Lethal Force is authorized. Subject 3CH0 must be captured ASAP and is to be brought back to the lab at all costs. Report date redacted. Mission status unknown. The Isle fan made concept Photoshop CC. Very well made. I love this the second I saw it. It looks like a mixture between a hypo rex and a neural rex, or like a neural spino, I mean, not a neural rex. I loved it. I thought it was really cool. So, guys, go check that out in the description. I love seeing these creatures with history behind them and a storyline, even. Even if they're fan made. They're so cool because we know that they have the potential to make it to the game. Our proof of that is with Tapwing. Now I want to iterate on something I said previously in this video about history repeating itself and my pointing towards Ark. When Ark first launched, I don't, re I don't know if any of you remember this. Maybe you don't, maybe you do. But when Ark first launched, Jurassic World was coming out in the theaters and they started using hashtags like hashtag uh, Jurassic Arc, this and that, just a bunch of different stuff. And it was all Jurassic Park related. They kind of low key linked their game to Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. And then they got a slap on the wrist and they had to stop. I have an arc video that goes very in depth with this, with factual evidence of this happening and why Arc 2, the sequel, may be revealed during the launch of Jurassic World. That's just the video, basically. You can check that out after this if you want, but I am going to get into some potato survival. Guys, welcome back to the aisle. I am the friendly little Diablo. We're not a trike, but I, believe, I think we have like 4,000 weight mass and decent health and decent damage. We can break bone. What the? F Did you guys just see that or was that just me? Whatever. But yeah, I'm playing as the Diablo. From what I understand, this guy should be somewhat decent. I think it has decent health when it's fully grown and has pretty good weight mass. And weight mass is basically everything in this game. So I should be able to hang out with the big boys and not take on an apex. But I, once I'm grown, I shouldn't have to worry about too much. And my stamina and speed as well are pretty decent, especially when I'm fully grown. I think I am faster than the Shrike, actually. So that's a bonus. I really know I really want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. I am incredibly interested to know if you guys believe that there is going to be a content patch as well. I strongly believe there's going to be one. I do. That's why I'm saying it right now. I also want to clear the air a little bit with something that we had seen and it is a creation from Tapwing. Unfortunately, this is not a tissoplastic cannibal as some people had thought in the comment section. Myself included, thinking that it's either a Reaper or a Tissot Cannibal. I think this is the evolution of a Reaper from its very baseline state to its full transformation. But this was confirmed by Tapwing on Twitter. It is not a Tissot Cannibal. Anyways, it's time to play as the Diablo. I'm going to do some stuff, so we're going to have a good time. Also, I have a voice I'm going to let you guys listen to for the cinematic documentary I'm going to do. I haven't decided on the creature yet. I still need to make a decision on that. But I will let you hear a snippet at the very end of the video for the person I think I'm choosing when it comes to that documentary. He's scarred up too. Oh, the Anki. Oh god, Anki don't care. <laughs> Anki don't care. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Why hasn't he swiped you? Oh, there you go. Oh, he broke his leg. Oh, you poor guy. You better four call away. No? Okay. All right, let's make our way to the uh, to the swamp. Watch out on your right. I heard a Diablo in the distance. Did you hear that? Yes. I hear it. Where the hell is he? He should, like, team up with us so we're safer. Because Diablos are meant to be in, like, herds so we're safer. Oh, that's an Alberto. See, I don't even know if I'm at a size where I can handle one. Yeek. I don't think I'm at a size where I can handle one of those yet. I do know I weigh a lot more than them, though. Yeah, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna keep Happy scooting hours. along. He's like walking. God, it's like a little horror movie or some crap. Yeah, he's following us. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a swimming no, potato. No, I'm gonna start drowning. There we go. No, you're not. You're good. And now I'm out of stem. Don't even. Oh God. Oh God. I wish you were out of stem. Why? This is the thing Why? behind us. No, they're not. <laughs> oh no, Chinese names. No, 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 this isn't uh -oh, salvation. Spaghetti. This is death. Uh oh, spaghetti. Please don't hurt me. Don't I mean, the trike has an English name, but it's the Chinese player no, that I don't trust. There's more over there. There's, they're all over there on the other side. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like trying to keep an eye on you so you don't get killed. I, I think that Diablo there is fully grown. Yeah, he's a fully grown Diablo. Look at the size difference. Oh my god, I have a long way to go. Look at me. You're I so tiny. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this crap. Damn, that's nuts. But Diablos get like pretty big. They're about the size of a new baby, uh, baby trike or a, a new adult trike. Derp. Oh my god, the way that Spino just walked up or stood st up out of the water. The spinal? Yeah, the oh, spinal okay. was like completely under there, and I saw its fin slowly crest out of the water. That was cool. Oh. That was so freaking cool. Oh, there's uh, Alberto there. Oh, where? Right there to the left. Oh. It's uh, it's hunting people, I think. It just four called. What? That's a body over here. I don't know. I think it went after this little guy, the Ava. No, that's a baby trike. What the hell? What? Why? Are... Okay. Mm. That was a baby trike. Okay, that's cool. Oh. I thought it was an Ava, it's, it's so, so small. Cute. Tiny as hell. Yeah, there's a trike walking up over here. Oh, there's a lot of things over there too. Um, there's like five Albertos over here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. There's there a whole posse be four. of them. There should only be four, so why not? <laughs> Just stay by the bit, find the loophole. <laughs> mm -hmm. Freaking packies. They're like. Little humans with really big heads. Oh, oh. Watch out for Carno! Jeez. <laughs> oh, Carno just biting everyone. They gotta, they gotta deal with that Carno. What the hell's this guy doing? Um. I just hit him. Oh, you, you kill, you oh. broke his leg. Good, I broke his leg. That's good. Yeah, um, we break I legs. Oh, I got bit. Sebastian McChicken, why? Oh, crap. He just ran through those Serratos, too, I think. Oh, no. He didn't bite them, though, I don't think. His bite did, like, nothing to me. It broke my leg. Gave me one bleed icon, though. I thought it'd do more than that. I'm kind of disappointed. We've got some uh, Albertos coming up behind us. Oh, wait. What? The, what? They're fighting each other? What? Oh, that's a, a Giga and an Alberto fighting. Oh, the Giga oh, yeah. is so boned. The Alberto's right on his butt. Oh, there, no. Now they have food. That's such a bad time for that Giga. I feel so bad for him. Look at that. The guy's just tracking him like a master. It's just an old Giga. It's fine. It's not like he's yeah. losing a new Giga. I can't find food anywhere. There's probably some bushes up further away. Yeah, look at this guy. He just killed the Giga. No, he didn't kill it yet. It's about to die, though. It's definitely going to die with that much bleed at this point. I think it just went down behind the bushes. Oh, Damn. Serratos. I can't get up and do anything because I have a broken leg. <laughs> Shoot. So, fortunately, we've managed to fend off a couple attacks since we've been this guy. He seems pretty tanky when it comes to a Arno, I think, and 
my justification for that is because there was a baby that was attacked by the Karno, who was also a baby. So I'm thinking fully grown, fully grown to scale means Karnos are not that much of a threat towards us. They could probably kill us, but it will be a hard time for them. And we can also break their legs, which is good. The Diablo does have leg break. It does cause some minor bleed, and it does have a decent amount of damage, actually, on impact. So I'm looking forward to seeing how well this guy can survive. Ooh, they got a baby. I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't be too close to that. Now, the aloe over here, I don't trust. And I know as the Diablo, I can mock charge people. No need to right now, because this guy's just over there chilling. But there is an Alberto right there chasing a galley. Oh, no. That is scummy to the next level, dude. No, you leave that galley alone. You get out of there. You're upsetting the locals. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, we've got a whole group of aloes over there. I didn't even see those guys. Just, what's Amaya doing? Spoon, what are you doing? You trying to be one of them? You can't be one of them. You get out of that. It's bad. You don't. However, I guess maybe they were prisoners. I don't know. Could be a bad time. Could be a really bad time. If those guys decide they want to attack, they're fully grown, it seems, the majority of them are. No, they have food over there, though. So I don't think I'm too worried about it. But Oh, man, that trike. The animation. Yes, please. Yeah, they have food. I'm not too worried about the aloes right now. They'll eat that food fast, though. So let's move away. Oh, that's the acro from yesterday. I remember them. Oh, I think they're a new player. They might be a new player. They need to back up, though. They're gonna, they're gonna get. Uh, oh, okay. We gotta watch out for them because they, they attack sporadically. It's like they don't understand. They need to move. You, you, Anki, you can swipe. You can, you can do your thing. You can swipe left or right. <laughs> what the f what are you doing and that, that's i guess that's why you get permission first that's that's a key reason why <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cute and disturbing at the same time looking this way is going to get me killed go <laughs> for that acro Ooh. God, that was kind of disturbing. Whoa, what the? What? What happened to this guy? You just have a stroke? What's up? Hey, you. What, what happened to you? you had, oh, it's a carno. It was bleeding out. Poor guy. Yeah, acro. Yeah. Not gonna go anywhere near you. Well, no, you don't. No, you don't, good sir. I'm gonna be on your toes now. I'm gonna be on your toes now. Oh, yeah. That's right. You better back it up. Spine! Oh, whoa! Get that noise. I just juked the crap out of that guy and avoided everything, but damn, at the same time, that was, uh... Whew. That was a little bit hairy when that acro came over. Not gonna deal with the, uh, Spino, but I sure as hell will deal with the acro. Oh! Oh, broken leg. Hell yeah. You guys better watch out. He's coming back with a vengeance. Oh, and he's dead. Damn. Poor guy. Where are the other carnivores? I don't see anyone. Except for the ones that were over there. I think there's an... Yeah, there's an acro right there. Acro right there. What is that, trike? Okay. We're okay. Everything's perfectly fine. What's that up there? They look like gigas. Or wreck. I think gigas. Those are gigas. I see them. Oh, God, there's a butt. Uh, hey, get away. You go, Alice. You too as well. You guys need to leave. Go away. Shoo, scram, skedaddle. Get. 
Ooh, don't mess, don't mess with the shan. That guy will destroy you. Are they gonna move away? Yeah, they're gonna move away. No real need to chase her. Ooh, time to run away. He's gonna chase us down. Min Shaw Acro. I don't wanna deal with that noise. Wait, is the Acro moving up towards them? Oh no, it's not. Wait, is the Spino moving? Oh, okay, no. What, are they, what the hell are they? Are they really gonna go for the Acro? Dude, this is gonna be a bad time for you. Oh no. Don't, Acro, Acro, they're trying to break, they're gonna get behind you and break your leg and destroy you. You need to not, you need to be aggressive in that stance. They're gonna, he's so cute and adorable. Look at the tiny baby, I didn't even notice him. Oh, hi. Yeah, little baby, run away. Oh no, it just bit them. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. No, you don't, good sir. You better run. Oh, is that Shant destroying them? Oh no, the Shant has a broken leg. Oh, hell yeah, Parasaur, you do your thing. Oh, he broke his leg. Hell yeah. Get him, Parasaur. You could do it. You could do it. Damn, they got destroyed. Oh, he's four calling. You gotta back up. Do you gotta back up? They're, they're four calling. He's four calling. You can't go after him. Don't do it. You gotta let him go. They're beaten and bruised and bloodied. It's okay. Come on. Let's get back. One of them died. That guy, however, took a beating. Yeah, you're pretty bloody. I think Parasaur is a really good bleed healing, though, so he should survive, depending on how bad that Alberto got him. We don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. Guys, I think that is it for now on the aisle. Diablo definitely able to survive in the world. It's definitely equipped to do it, but as for me, I think I'm done. I want to know what you think about my theory on this whole potential massive content release coming to us within the aisle. I strongly believe there is content on the way. I strongly believe they've ramped up development for a reason, and I strongly believe they probably already have things in the background that are completed and ready to go. I want to know what you think down below. Again, you need to let me know. Let me know what dinosaur you would like to see next. And by the way, remember when we had that vote where we would choose the dinosaur we want? Maybe that has something to do with it. Either way, guys, that is it, and I will see you in the next video.